Hey fam, hey friends, your girl is back. In Kechejuku, we're on Who Cares to Care. How are we all doing? Hope you are fine. Hope we are blessed. It's been a busy week for me and for you, I'm sure. The kids are back. Holiday is here. We are all busy mom, busy parents, busy carers, working, looking after the kids and doing everything. But you know what? I just say, let me come out here and say hello to us to know how we are faring. Eh? I want to officially introduce my next episodes which i have titled are you a punching bag and i want to say something to my generation you see most of us um separation is very popular in my generation because my generation is a, a different one from our parents and then um, because of um what my generation has achieved there are things we don't take there are things we don't tolerate there are things our mothers took that we can't afford to take our mothers took those things probably maybe out of ignorance out of not being financially independent even when they have gone to school and acquired education and degrees and then um, their husbands most of them kept them at home just to look after the children and my generation we are financially independent we are comfortable we on our lane we holding our own we are you know so there are things that um and we can speak of ourselves more now than before these episodes i'm coming up with i have i will say a few things about relationships and marriage and i want to make it clear to my generation i want to make it clear to my family to my friends to everybody even i will talk a bit about myself as well i want to make it clear that i'm not referring to anybody because if I say something that hits chucks a chord with you, just know that I'm not talking about you because I'll still talk about myself anyway. Just know that I don't want our children to make the mistakes that we made because there were some mistakes we made out of ignorance. We did not know better at that time. And things we have been through and things, the consequences of those mistakes, we don't want our children to make the same mistake. Yes. So that's why I'm here and that's why I am touching on this topic. Are you a punching bag I've titled it? Like I said in one of my episodes, for a long time I have been running away as it concerns discussing anything about relationships. Not that I'm not qualified, I am qualified. I was married for 13 years, you see. So I have done it and <laughs> I'm single now. So I know the things that happens in marriage but then again as beautiful as marriage is as beautiful as marriage is it is always awesome to get it right the first time get it right the first time and this is and this is why i'm equally here for us to educate our children to get it right the first time once we get it right the first time that's what we, we need there is no one marriage without any problems but if you get it right the first time whatever that is thrown at you in that marriage you people can handle it so i've officially come to introduce this topic are you a punching bag and like i said i'm not referring to anybody i have run away i didn't want to talk about it i didn't want to deal with it but it will be criminal if i'm doing this job and what prompts me is one of my last episodes, one of the sequel, after the live show I did with my sister Stella Damascus, one of the live show about a young lady that had, she has twins, two boys. And because they're special needs, her husband became, I don't know what to call him. If I call him what I want to call him, you will not like it. So he became funny, shuffling in and out of their lives, torturing the poor woman. And this woman has two boys, you know, and when she told me her story i came up with it i treated it on my episode you know it was one of the sequels i did after the live show and all that, all that. i just say you know what a few things needs to be touched on as a concerns marriages relationships especially for our children and for us that are still in marriages most of us are still married which is good which is beautiful marriage is a beautiful thing who wants to be alone? Marriage is a beautiful thing. After that episode, I just said to myself, you know what, Nkechi, treat this topic 
people have been telling me people ask me questions the little i know i will tell them we learn together we rub minds together and just there's, there's just a lot of things i have noticed about nowadays marriage and when i from my own experience when i ask those questions all my suspicions will be confirmed by the way they are seeing me for the first time wondering who is this babe in the park <laughs> talking my name is in kechi Ejikume on who cares to care i'm a mommy vlogger that lives in london i have four son children i have a child with special needs and that's why i'm here in this space always encouraging us always keeping it real and fresh and join us join my family and let's roll together and make the world a better place watch my previous videos i have over 68 videos watch my videos like share and subscribe that is the rule on this channel well like my video number first first thing is like share and now subscribe it is important okay let me continue from what i just felt i should introduce myself for the people that are seeing me for the first time my by ogs they know me already so yes let's move on so as young girls there are so many things we are not taught before we got married or put differently we were taught because let me tell you we were taught so many things but it is the approach and the way we were taught those things were the problem the way our parents were teaching us those things is different from the way we are teaching our children now the way they tell us things that time mm, my mother was one of the polite ones my father you have no business with an opposite sex forget it i don't know what you people are doing together people have no business my mother was a bit polite but at the same time having said that some things the her approach to some things was still not right but it was right in their generation but when they speak to us like that we don't learn so now us my generation we have a different approach the way we train our children the approach our parents used that did not work for us but they were telling us the truth they were saying the right thing now we have learned to use a different approach for our children which works better which knowing your child differently if you have four children there are four different personalities you don't compare child a with child b that was one of the mistakes our parents made out of ignorance hey look at your younger sister aren't you ashamed of yourself we don't do that these days man no we don't because four children from you four different personalities so you take time to learn each and every of your child then you know how to handle child a child b child c and child d and you see you have a balance and it works and it flows you know your child you say sit down you talk to your child the way you you talk to her with some respect our parents they didn't quite know that children have respect to who are you my mother will carry one long cane and show you pepper my father my father does not be too much but hmm, by the time he stands you up and talk to you for like three hours you just wish you were not born just talking i can count how many times my father laid hands on me but my mother hey hey come and see my mother eh? so it worked but um we have a different approach now we don't have it against them because that was all they knew they gave us but now we have learned what they're giving us and we have learned more and we know better so we we'll do better with, so that the mistakes we made they will not make the same mistakes so, yes so that's why i'm here I just felt that I should make it clear I'm not referring to anybody I'm not talking to anybody I am just addressing the issues on ground I will talk about myself I will talk about myself so bad I will talk about and so if I didn't have children but thank God I did if I didn't have children the things that will come out of this mouth but as I speak I will do my best to rein stuffs in because of my children because marriage should be approached better and differently more than is being approached we might have made those mistakes but don't forget to oh, i didn't forget that it took two to tango i didn't forget that we took two it took two to tango that part i didn't forget it don't mind you. but the only thing i know is that or uh, um, what i want to achieve is for us to get our children ready 
both spiritually and physically, mentally, everything. Get them ready, teach them, leave them in God's hands permanently. Our parents did that as well. Make sure that everything about their marriage relationship is solidified in the hands of God and making sure that they get it right the first time. We don't want our children to be single mothers. We don't want them to be separated parents. We don't want them divorced either. Having said all that, please, questions is welcomed. Ideas are welcomed. This topic cannot be saturated. This topic cannot be saturated. So a lot, a lot is coming up. A lot is coming up. And as I, as I treat these topics and go, when I will start uploading them in a week or two, then I will be open to suggestions from my fellow mothers, my fellow fathers, my fellow carers. You know me already. I'm, a, I'm, I'm an open book. I'm very, very approachable. So bring in your ideas, bring in your experiences. Let's do it together. Let's make sure that our children, they have better lives than we did. Some of, have, some of us have good lives, but for our children to have even better lives than we did. That's why I'm here today. Mm -hmm. So the episodes will start coming up soon. After my staycation, I will do a staycation first. And I'm going to bring us the grace zone after my staycation. Then we take it from there. So my people, my generation, my fellow mother, my fellow father, my people, my loved ones. Let's pray for our children, which is very important. That is paramount. Let's pray for them. Let's start praying for them now. Pray for, as we pray for their education, as we pray for long life for them, as we pray for God's protection, let's pray for their marriage and their relationships. It's important for God to open their eyes of understanding so that let them choose the right person. The boys will choose the right wives. The girls will choose the right husbands so that they will have peace. Because again, I can't stop saying it, when they get it right the first time, every other little shenanigans in marriages they can they can handle it and that is the reality so my people my farm my ogs my fellow fathers my fellow mother my fellow care uncle cares to care they are girls in the end of time in kechi again like share and do what you subscribe have a blessed week see you soon after my station you take care bye